Hey there, I'm Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering and analytics with Alteryx and Spotfire. If you don't really want to watch a video and prefer reading, you can find the written version of this post at the link shown on the screen. If you learned something today, please do me a favor and share this link on social media or subscribe to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the size of data sets flowing into and out of Alteryx. I love that I can run huge amounts of data through the application. However, I also have to think about how much data I'm going to take from Alteryx and then cram into a BI application like Spotfire or Power BI. As a general rule, less is more. My data sets are going to load faster in those applications the less data that I have. Now, you may think you can't do anything to reduce the size of your data set without cutting columns or rows, but that's not true. And in this video, I'll show you two ways to reduce the size of your data set. And I've already run this so you can see the size of data flowing through each tool. And if in running your own workflows, you can't see the data set size, it is a setting that you can find by clicking on the canvas and going to the canvas tab. And you'll want to change whatever you have for connection progress. The options are hide, show, or show only when running. Uh, show will make it visible all of the time. Show only when running will show these as long as the workflow is actually cycling. For the purpose of this post, show is what I want because I want to see it the whole time. I also want to note that if you're reading the blog post or you're comparing the video to the blog post, the sizes of the data sets you'll see are going to differ. I was using a slightly different data set when I wrote the blog post versus when I recorded this video, but the, the concepts are still the same. So let's take a look at this workflow. You'll notice that I start with a text input tool and a formula tool. The text input is really just a starting place. And then my formula tool is basically calculating dates so that every time this workflow runs, the start and the end dates are going to change. And I feed those dates into a dynamic query. And if you're not familiar with dynamic queries, check out the two links shown on the screen. I use dynamic queries in almost all of my workflows because usually I'm working with a lot of date oriented data and I want to get my data sets down as small as possible. And so I use dynamic date. After my dynamic query, I have a select tool. And in this case, my select tool isn't really doing anything. I've put a select tool at the start and the end so that we can do a bit of compare and contrast in the size of our string fields after the trim and the auto field. Now, here I have another formula tool, which is basically calculating column. And as you can see, that one calculated column increases my data set size from 1.7 to 1.9 gigs of data, which is a pretty big jump. And now after this formula tool, I have a multi-field formula and an auto field tool. And these are the two that I really want to, to talk about. And if I click on this multi-field formula tool, what you'll see is that I have set it to look at all of the text fields and I'm choosing all of my text fields, including dynamic and unknown. And then I've just written a very simple expression to trim those fields. And so basically that's going to remove any white space at the beginning or end of my data. I used to use this data cleansing tool for this task. However, if you go into the data cleansing tool, you'll notice that there is no option in here for dynamic or unknown. And if your column names change the, and you've selected them, like let's say I click on all of these and then region turns into region name, the next time you come into this tool, this one won't be selected. And this has actually become so problematic for me that I have stopped using this tool entirely. And now I use the multi-field formula tool in order to accomplish the same task. And of course, I'm sure you're noticing that I have 1.9 gigs coming out of my formula tool and 1.9 gigs coming out of my multi-field formula tool, which isn't actually reducing the data set. And this particular uh, method of reducing the data set really depends on your data. And so I, in this case, my data doesn't have much white space, so there isn't really an impact. So I'll just go ahead and pull up uh, what is a screenshot from a different workflow that I had. And you can see I am again changing those scenario names, 1.5 gigs. And then here I trim white space and it gets rid of 0.1 gigs of data, which isn't a whole lot, but sometimes every little bit can really be helpful. That's trimming white space with multi-field formula. But my big reduction comes from the auto field tool. 
And I'm quickly learning a lot of really helpful uh, applications for the auto field tool, and I'll have some additional posts coming out soon about this tool. What this tool does is it reads through all of the records for a given column, and then it sets the field type to the smallest possible size relative to the data contained within that column. And so you can see I've got 1.9 gigs of data coming out of multi-field formula, and then I get a huge reduction here. I get 0.7 gigs cut off of that data set just by reducing the field size. And that's a pretty big deal. And to prove the point, let's just look at the before and after select tools side by side. See how much the size has changed? This all translates to a smaller data set. And so that covers the, the two tips that I wanted to give you today for reducing data set size in Alteryx. And I, the last thing that I want to note is that I use trim and auto field at the start and end of all of my workflows. Since new columns can be introduced in the middle of a workflow via calculations or other joins, and so I do it at the start and the end. Now you know two ways to reduce the size of data sets in Alteryx. If you found this useful, please share on LinkedIn or other social media. Thanks and have a great weekend.